In an AI-first business world where routine tasks are increasingly handled by Silicon sidekicks, it's key to understand AI's capabilities with some real-world examples. Are you ready to meet your digital coworkers? I'm Patrick Lynch. Let's jump into the verse. While it may seem that AI is taking over, well, everything, the truth is, it's better at some things than others. Research shows that AI starts by replacing simpler tasks and progressively moving toward more complex ones. Based on Huang and Russ' 2018 model, I designed my four faces of AI, highlighting how it can augment and in some cases replace human work. For example, Meet Sarah, a customer service manager at an e-commerce company. She used to spend hours every day responding to the same routine customer inquiries. But now, with an AI-powered chatbot, the common questions are handled, and it frees her up for tackling more complex issues. She loves her digital intern, speeding through monotonous tasks, so she finally has time for a coffee break. Next up is our number ninja. This is fueled by analytical intelligence. Here, AI excels in fields like finance and marketing, where it crunches numbers and analyzes patterns that help us make more informed decisions. Meet Dave, a financial analyst. He spends his mornings sifting through mountains of data, trying to identify market trends. But now, by using AI, Dave's time is saved by processing real-time analytics and market data, even identifying investment opportunities. Instead of spending weeks compiling reports, he spends his time interpreting the AI's findings and making more informed decisions for his clients. This number-crunching ninja has turned him into a strategic advisor rather than just a data processor. Next up, let's meet our Silicon Psychic. This AI's got intuitive intelligence, and this is where things get really exciting. This AI helps make sense of complex and ambiguous situations. In healthcare, for example, AI systems assist doctors by analyzing medical imagery and suggesting diagnoses. But you don't need to be a doctor to use it. Consider Emma, a product designer at a tech company. Her team uses an AI-driven design tool that reviews thousands of previous design iterations to suggest new and innovative concepts. It's like having a Silicon Psychic on her team. It helps her spot trends and design strategies that might otherwise go unnoticed. Emma still makes the final creative decision, but AI gives her a solid head start by generating options that push her designs to the next level. And finally, we have our cyber soulmate with empathetic intelligence. This is Frontier AI, which aims to understand and respond to human emotions. It powers chatbots and adapts responses based on a customer's tone. Take Juan, a customer experience manager with a luxury retail brand. His team uses AI-driven customer support systems that go way beyond typical chatbots. This AI analyzes a customer's tone and sentiment during interactions, providing Juan's team with real-time feedback on the customer's emotional state. For instance, if a customer is frustrated while discussing a delayed order, the AI recognizes this and immediately flags the interaction for follow-up by a human customer service agent. It also suggests more empathetic responses, such as offering a personalized discount or expedited shipping. This cyber soulmate doesn't just respond, it tries to understand, helping Juan's business provide more personalized, human-like customer experiences. And that can build better, stronger brand loyalty. Now, if you're thinking this is yet out of reach, I encourage you to check out Hume AI for some mind-blowing examples of their AI personalities. Try expressing some excitement or sadness and listen to the changes in the interaction. I'll be interested in whether you think you found an AI cyber soulmate with empathetic intelligence or not. Does this really pass your Turing tests? So there you have it. Those are my four faces of AI. The digital doer, the number ninja, the silicon psychic, and the cyber soulmate. These categories can help us understand AI's current impact and frame how we might work alongside these silicon psychics. I'll post a helpful glossary of additional AI terms below. Remember, in this AI-driven world, creativity and adaptability are our superpowers. And let's keep the conversation going. Share your thoughts in the comments. And until next time, this is Patrick Lynch. I'll see you in the verse.